So I often talk about guitars that have just disappeared, like they were all over eBay and Amazon and other places and um, then overnight gone. Here's a case in point. A, f a couple of years ago, I bought quite a few of these, set them up into nice guitars and um, they seem to be an up and coming company. Uh, and then these disappeared. I've seen them resurface. And the prices are exorbitant now. So you used to be able to get these for about $70, $80. Do a good setup on them. Um, spruce ply with a mahogany back and side. Um, you know, just a standard dreadnought guitar. Um, and I used to get the classicals for around $50 or $60. I may have done a video, I'm not sure, in the early days. And, you know, I used to set them up and sell them to students. And then when they resurfaced, the what looked to be the same guitars were like two, three hundred dollars and they're not worth that. So I never went back to this company. So I don't quite know what's going on. Maybe they're, they, they do what a lot of companies do. They introduce themselves to the world of Amazon, eBay, dirt cheap prices, create a buzz. And then when, you know, they start getting a slew of customers, um, they crank up the prices or maybe they put a second line out of better guitars. Maybe the, the ones that I saw, for two, three hundred dollars uh, are an improved or a second run of guitars that, that were better than these initial ones. Uh, but anyway, they're hard to find. You sometimes find Chateau listed and they just have this really weird sort of pink uh, C logo on there. What I think they did is they got a bunch of guitars made <clears throat> without any labels or marks on. Uh, and then after production they stuck a, I don't know if you can see that they stuck a paper label in there and then they put a, a transfer on the headstock uh, there which may it feels like it might be under the uh, last coat um, so these were probably OEM guitars made um, for a bunch of different companies this particular company Chateau bought I don't know maybe a few hundred put their logos on them and sold them and um, and then maybe when they uh, made their more expensive models, they got serious and, and had them made for them. I don't know the history of this. My point is that this is a ubiquitous company that was everywhere and now they've just sort of disappeared. This is one that I, when my son was first starting, when he was a young teenager, when he first got into guitar, I had an extra one of these lying around and uh, I gave it to him to bang around on. Uh, and what he did is he made, and by the way, you, you uh, aficionados of vinyl, don't freak out. This was a heavily scratched record. It wouldn't play. Uh, so he didn't take like a perfectly good vinyl record and make a pick guard out of it. He took a, um, he, bought, he bought a series at the thrift stores um, that were absolutely scratched up, I think, for a quarter a piece. And he made some pick guards out of it and put them on there. And this is, yeah, I should have known that. This is the the Yes Relayer album that he made this particular pick guard out of. It's a little thick for my taste, an album being a little bit thicker than normal pick guard material. But he liked it. He loved it. Um, he's got a more serious guitar now. Um, so this one's going. Uh, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Somebody might enjoy that. Uh, but this is just to demonstrate, you know, one of these many, 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 many uh, companies that show up. They're all, they splash themselves all over uh, the online buying channels. Uh, and then they just sort of disappear. That may have happened to Firefly. I'm just not seeing any action from them. Maybe they're gearing up with another run of electrics uh, since they made a splash uh, with their introductory models. Uh, but so many companies over the last few years uh, are like this. You see a ton of their stuff. Uh, they seem to sell out of whatever line that they've run, uh, and then they don't come back, or maybe they come back as something else. This is Chateau. Um, you know, I've talked about it a few times, so I thought, why not use this guitar as an explanation um, of that particular phenomenon, because you see it quite a lot. 
Uh, nothing special about this guitar, very bog standard. Uh, even the rosette is the standard black and white purfled rosette, you know, sort of uh, standard fret markers, rosewood fretboards, black binding. They probably made this guitar in the thousands at a certain factory. And then companies like Ibanez, Alvarez, but I mean, it looks like a Yamaha to me as well, like one of the um, plywood Yamahas. Um, you know, maybe they sold to all these companies and then the leftovers, you know, the, the uh, or the seconds in the pile, uh, the, the ones that the big manufacturers rejected were bought up by this company. They slapped their logo on and sold them really cheap. Um, uh, so they're they're nothing special, but they're they're not bad guitars. They made decent guitars um, for laminate spruce and uh, Sapelli mahogany. Um, but the company seems to have withered away or become something else. I don't see much of them anymore. So I thought to show you. All right, folks. See you on the next one.